Grand Eagle College Fund <coughs> is a consortium or federation of 36 colleges and universities, and we are run and managed, and our policy making is made for us by a board of directors of some 45 distinguished Americans. Today we are pleased to announce that effective last Wednesday that the United Negro College Fund has a new chairman of its board of directors. And we are very privileged to have as our new chairman Morris B. Abram, who is an attorney and partner in the law firm of Paul Weiss, Goldberg, Rifkin, Wharton, and Garrison, a former president of Brandeis University, About 45% of America's Southern, that should read Southern white children troop from high school to college, only 15% of such young blacks ever make it to college gates. Attending deprived high schools, reading out-of-date textbooks, and burdened with the psychological and physical consequences of years of oppression, many of the brightest students never manage to escape their circumstances. In the South alone, 250,000 boys and girls in the top one half of their high school graduating classes are left behind in the fields and in the industrial mills each year. Were it not for the colleges of the UNCF, another 100,000 might have been dealt a similar fate. <laughs> 